Hello and welcome to the presentation. My name is Mushahida and my teammates are Tati Pragnya, Gausya Banu and TM Aishwarya. Our project title is Wireless Head Motion Control Smart Wheelchair for the Disabled Person and our project ID is PROJ EAP9. Let us have a glance at the contents. In this presentation, we look into the abstract literature survey. Uh, we'll, draw, we'll know the objective of our project and we'll learn about the methodology and we'll see what are the various hardware and software components used in our project. And uh, we'll discuss uh, about the result uh, and we'll see in the society, uh, societal and relevance. We'll draw the conclusion and we'll look into the future scope and we will see about the commercialization potential and the targeted user. So moving towards the first part, that is abstract. Being physically challenged has become a myth as today's enhancement in the technology has taken over all these challenges with a drift from being physically challenged a person to being physically independent person. To bring this drift is the main idea behind our project. And uh, in mo most of the old citizens and parents students are dependent upon their family members to navigate. To move from one place to another, they are dependent on their family members. A wheelchair has become a dependent tool for the quadriplegics. Basically, quadriplegics are the patients who cannot move any of their body parts. A smart wheelchair can become a useful assistant for them. In the recent developments in the technologies such as home automation, robotics, artificial intelligence, etc., can be usefully combined to design such a smart wheelchair. And even we can achieve the wireless communication by adopting proper communication system. Uh, in the recent, in the previous development and all, the PCs or the laptops were being used on the wheelchair. This was not giving a satisfactory feedback from the user since it was too bulky and even more costly. Our pro proposed projects overcome all these disadvantages and also it gives a good satisfactory feedback from the user and it is not even bulky. So now let us, in the next slide, let us know about the literature survey. Let us know what are the other technologies which are used. So the first one is the eye control smart wheelchair. In the eye control smart wheelchair, our eye retina is used as a medium. The disadvantage with this type of wheelchair is that it doesn't give a good efficiency in the dim environment. Next one is a tongue control wheelchair. In the tongue control wheelchair, our tongue has to be pierced with some ferromagnetic type of material. So the, the disadvantage with this type of wheelchair is that whenever a patient goes for an MRI scan, the pierced magnetic material has to be removed. This is very painful for the patient and even sometimes it causes the income. Um, even sometimes it causes an infection. Next one is a voice control smart wheelchair. The voice in the in this type of wheelchair, a voice is used as a medium. And the disadvantage with this type of wheelchair is that uh, it, uh, it doesn't give good efficiency in the noisy environment. And the last one is the brain control smart wheelchair. In the brain control, this, this type of wheelchair is very complex to design as the brain impulses varies from person to person. So our proposed project, that is a head motion control smart wheelchair, overcome all these disadvantages. Now moving towards the next part, that is objective. The main aim of our project is to uh, increase the employability among the disabled person. Many of the disabled person have the dream to become an engineer, doctor, etc. But the disability factor is a, has become a curse to their dream. This disability factor is what killing their dream. So in, in this we are aiming to increase the employability among the disabled person and also the wheelchair is used to move independently from one place to another with the help of wheelchair by tilt movement of their head. The smart wheelchair aim also aims to, uh, to alert the, their family members in time of emergency and avoiding obstacles like edge or uh, staircase. Now, let us see the methodology of the project. So, in the, in the methodology part, we have categorized into various sectors like a components use. So, in this components use, we will be looking into hardware, both the hardware and the software. Next is a block diagram which describes the various uh, 
hardware components used. In the next uh, category, we look into wheelchair automation design. Next is the wheelchair circuit design, where we know, where, where we will learn about the pin-to-pin -pin connection of the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi and the other components. And at last, we'll uh, look into controller interface design. So, now let us see what are the hardware and software components used. Raspberry Pi. First component is a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is the heart of the project. This uh, Raspberry Pi is a central processing unit. This is the main component which performs uh, all, which controls all the operations. Next one is the ultrasonic sensor. Ultrasonic sensors are mainly used to avoid the obstacle. Uh, whenever any obstacle is detected, the wheelchair automatically gets stopped. Next one is the GSM. When the wheelchair is stopped, the information about this is sent to their family members through an SMS. Next one is a USB to TTL model. This USB to TTL model is used as an interface between the GSM and the Raspberry Pi. Next one is the accelerometer ADX337 and the MCP3008. So, uh, uh, accelerometer AD, uh, ADXL337 is a major component to detect the head gesture. This, uh, this is a three axis and this is used to detect the head, uh, tilt motion, uh, motion uh, tilt gesture of the head. And uh, the, head, the tilt gesture is an analog signal. This can't be processed by the uh, Raspberry Pi. In order to convert into the digital signal, we will be using MCP3008. So here, MCP3008, it will act, uh, act as an ADC converter, that is an analog to digital converter. Next one is the L293D. We are using two DC motor. In order to uh, have a drive to the DC motor, L293D is used. Moving towards the next part, that is software use. As we are using the Raspberry Pi, we have to uh, do our programming in the Python language. That's why we are using the so Python software. And in order to have a wireless connectivity, we will be using Putty application. So let us understand the block diagram. Uh, we, uh, let us uh, see uh, the explanation of block diagrams into two parts. The first part is when the head motion is sensed using the accelerometer in all the directions, the signal that is generated is converted into uh, the digital signal using the MCP3008. And later, the Raspberry Pi processes these values and then the wheelchair motion can be observed. The second part is when the wheelchair is in, uh, is in motion or whenever it is navigating, uh, we can see the uh, obstacles in the environment. So these obstacles are detected by the ultrasonic sensor which are placed at the toe of the wheelchair. So uh, then by the uh, information what the ultrasonic uh, sensor gathers, uh, that information is sent to the GSM and uh, it can be uh, seen by the family members of that patient. And the next major part is the uh, wheelchair circuit design. So here we can see that uh, uh, there is a, a block diagram uh, which shows all the connections and the main component uh, here is the Raspberry Pi. So the other components are interfaced with the Raspberry Pi to design the wheelchair. So let us see the first component that is the DC motor. Here in this project, uh, we are using two DC motors. And uh, the drive to this DC motor is through the L293D. Here the L293D uh, uh, gives the information about the rotation of the head that is like front, back, or uh, side, uh, right side or the left side, or uh, uh, that uh, we can simply call it as uh, the side works. And the next part is the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, these are placed uh, at the toe of the wheelchair. Whenever there is a movement of the wheelchair or if there is any obstacle, these ultrasonic sensor detects it and the wheelchair automatically gets stopped. So the location of the information is sent in the form of the SMS for the family members through the GSM. The GSM is connected to the Raspberry Pi use, using the USB TTL. It acts as an intermediate. So the next major component after the Raspberry Pi is the accelerometer. The accelerometer will have three axes, X, Y, and Z axis. It can detect the tilt of the head in any axis. The accelerometer generally detects the tilt of the head motion 
and it will generate the analog signal so in order to drive the data from the analog signal we will be using the mcp3008 this acts as an adc that is the analog to digital converter so after the signal uh, is uh, converted into digital it is sent to the raspberry pi so based on the information that is acquired uh, from the raspberry pi uh, the based on the information that is acquired the raspberry pi makes the movement so this is uh, the explanation about the working of the wheelchair uh, system output uh, after knowing the working and the connections of uh, the uh, wheelchair now what is the output the system gives so uh, first one is uh, head orientation so the uh, it will determine the orientation of the head that is the movement of the head and the motion detection uh, it detects and the computes the data from the uh, head orientation this motion detection is got from the head orientation so as said the, the accelerometer uh, it can uh, it can uh, uh, detect uh, the head motion uh, in all the all the three axes that is x y and z so uh, let us see in x axis uh, what are the uh, output we get so the x axis is for uh, front and the back movement and the y axis is for the front left and the front right movement and the z axis is for the back left and the back right movement and uh, these are in the same way calibrated in the wheelchair locomotion also here in the figure we can see that the x y and z axis are named as pitch roll and yaw and uh, uh, these are the and the other diagram beside uh, shows the uh, um, uh, like uh, uh, different uh, head motions head rotating motions of the uh, person Now moving towards the next part, that is societal relevance. So in this, we will see who, which all people can use our wheelchair. So the people who are uh, this automated wheelchair is valuable for the people who could not move independently, like amputees. Amputees are the patients who don't have their legs and arms. Next are the people with the weak or no upper body movement uh, will use this right this type of wheelchair. And next one is the paralyzed children. Moving towards the next part, that is the commercialization potential. So, in the advantages, uh, this wheelchair increases the mobility for the disabled person. It increases physical support and it increases the ability to live independently. Increase the number of the disabled per people in employment while providing support and security for those unable to work. Now, if we talk about the disadvantage, this wheelchair sometimes it might become uh, uh, a little bulky. So I would conclude that this wheelchair will of course bring a change in the society. Many of our brothers or sisters who are disabled and have, uh, have their dreams to become an aerospace engineer, doctor, an engineer, etc. But the disability factor has become a curse to their dreams. This disability factor is killing their dreams. So our main focus is on is to increase the employability among the disabled person. And also to motivate them to live to live independently and to live happily. This smart wheelchair helps the severely disabled people to lead their life in an un, uh, uncomplicated way. The lower the low cost of the assembly parts of this wheelchair has enhanced its, its adorability. Now, in the future scope, this wheelchair will be implanted with the solar cells. These solar cells will be used to store the. Uh, charge from the solar, uh, solar energy and the, the battery, the charge would, would be stored in the battery and those batteries would be used uh, continuously for uh, current. Next one is the expenditure. This is a table which shows the uh, each and every component and its cost. So the total expenditure to, to develop the wheelchair is 5000. Hope our proposed project has met the requirement specified with, uh, by the Avishkar. And I would say that this, uh, by using this type of wheelchair, will of course create and change in the society, and it will create a motivation among the 
disabled person and also increase the employability among the disabled person. 